The Expansion Zone with Sonia Barrett. Everybody's talking about consciousness. Everybody wants that eternal kiss. Yeah, everyone's saying there's more than this. Everyone wants to follow their own bliss. Talking about one love. On the Expansion Zone, we examine life and our quest to understand who and what we are and of the vastness of human potentials. We explore the making of our world from quantum physics to parapsychology, health, sociology and philosophy, along with practical living. You are reminded of the possibilities in creating personal change. So for an hour, we'll stimulate and expand the mind. Well, welcome once again to another edition of the Expansion Zone with Sonia Barrett. I am, of course, Sonia Barrett, your host, and as always, wishing you a vibrant day with lots of opportunity for expansion ahead. Uh, well, we have to keep wishing that, you know, we have to turn every moment, if possible, into an opportunity, at least see the opportunity there to expand, to learn something, especially today, in today's world. Uh, but my quote today, and I, you know, I love all the quotes. I'm always saying I love this quote, but just when I think I can't top it with the quotes, <laughs> I do. And so this one is simple, but it's really profound. I will not let anyone walk through my mind with their dirty feet. I love this. I will not let anyone walk through my mind with their dirty feet. Okay, and that's by Mahatma Gandhi. So I'm going to talk about that also in a little bit. Um, but the, today's topic is about it's freedom from food, um, what that truly means, a quantum physics approach to weight loss. And of course, who better but our guest, Patricia, Patricia Bish, who has been on the show several times, and she's the author of Freedom from Food, a Quantum Weight Loss Approach. So before we go further, I'd like to remind you that, yes, we are in the fun drive and we have a real treat for you today with Patricia. So we've got some great things ahead just to let you know. Um, as KPFK continues to look forward to you know, your support, again, shows like this with such informative guests is a great reminder of why you enjoy KPFK and those shows that you really do love. Well, I ask that you please call in and support the show during during the show. It really does make a difference. It's very important that uh, if you can, you call in during the show to either do your make a pledge um, or to donate and whatever works for you to join. You can also join the Sustainer Circle, I should say, which is really no different than subscribing to the station. And although I have a heck of a treat for you today, if you would like to donate right now, like right now when I'm talking, you may call 818-985-5735. Uh, 818-985-5735. But remember how much you value the Expansion Zone and all these other shows and how if KPFK wasn't there, uh, you wouldn't be hearing the Expansion Zone on KPFK. All right. So the just a real quick, the chat. The, the a quote, I'm going to just chat about that for a quick second. I will not let anyone walk through my mind with their dirty feet. Mm -hmm. Mahatma Gandhi is the uh, author of that quote. A very powerful quote. And I say yes, yes, because this is often what we expose ourselves to. And quite often people are greatly affected by those dirty feet. <laughs> the stain remains and we begin to live our lives based on uh, some degree, to some degree, I think a feeling of not being able to sweep away this dirt or wipe it away uh, somehow. This certainly, I think, aligns with 
today's show as well, because so many have been carrying, I think, um, certain beliefs in their bodies and uh, for a very long time. And they've been just carrying it. And it, it greatly impacts everything that we do, all the choices that we make, all the things we believe about ourselves, as we're going to talk about. So freedom from food. When, when it comes to freedom from food, we are talking about the communication between body and mind, the unlimited possibilities of consciousness. So brief bio here. Freedom from Food presents a revolutionary program designed by Patricia Bish, who discovered the secret to regaining her power over food without deprivation. Built on the solid foundation of quantum physics, which substantiates how the mind affects the body. It provides practical applications of principles that guide you to making your consciousness uh, strong enough to transform your body. Patricia Bish, M-A-M-F-T, those are her, um, her background. She's lived the painful life of an overeater from her teen years to well into her early adulthood. Then over 30 years ago, she discovered the secret to regaining her power over food, not through deprivation, but as a way to enjoy eating and to lose weight anyway. So Patricia Bish maintains a private practice in psychotherapy, specializing in EMDR therapy. Patricia, Patricia lectures, um, lectures, conducts media appearances, and leads classes and workshops on weight loss. Freedomfromfood.com is her website. Patricia, welcome back once again. Oh, I'm so excited to be back on this show. You know, I have all the people who work with me listen to our radio shows because I love to expand with you uh, on your shows because you are so expansive and you do hold that expansive field so nobody can walk in with their dirty shoes <laughs> and, <laughs> and you stay aligned. And uh, I really appreciate it. And I'm very happy to talk with you today and be part of this whole uh, fundraiser. Oh, awesome. So I know you love that quote. I know when you heard that quote, it immediately brought to mind, uh, I think, a, a lot of your work and, and working with people and what you, you see, how we're affected by things that have been said to us, maybe as children or even uh, in our adult lives that we have come to believe about ourselves, our bodies, uh, and so on. Yes. You know, it all starts uh, with all eaters. There is a wound that occurs and uh, we don't know how to handle the anxiety, the fear, the worry the, uh, that comes up from not getting the love we needed, not mattering in the way we needed to. We didn't get that mirroring. And so, Yes, people have said things or done things and food, we use food to protect ourselves and to sedate the anxiety uh, we feel. And so freedom from food doesn't want you to just bypass that a wound happened. You know, it wants you to acknowledge, okay, there was something uh, and you want to look at it but there's also a place outside of the wound that I discovered in my 20s, uh, which was many, many years ago, about 40 years ago, more, that um, where I had old belief systems about food making me gain weight. I was still, you know, a victim of eating something um, I was a junk food junkie and I would eat all kinds of food and then I would try and diet, but I couldn't hold it very long. So then I would binge again and hate myself. It was a vicious cycle. I felt very victimized in that old paradigm of seeing food as my enemy and my body as helpless. So so we're at war with our bodies is, is, is one of the things that, you know, that's, that's what I'm, I, I'm hearing. That's what I heard from myself at one point, Patricia. And I realized, wow, you are constantly in, in battle, you know, with your body. 
Uh, that's exactly right. So when I discovered the quantum world, which was uh, when I was studying uh, with a teacher at just about metaphysics in general, and he said, uh, he said everything was energy, which is an Einstein uh, concept, but it, all scientists know that now, and so many people know it. But I was sitting there looking at the cookies on his table, which I, was, I shared many times on this show, I think. And all of a sudden, I realized that I was, that I had some uh, power to leave kind of the concept that this was a dense world. And if I thought of those cookies as energy, you might think of uh, a food you're afraid of now um, while I'm talking. If you think of it, instead of solid matter that can hurt you or create weight, but if you saw yourself and you saw the food as energy, which is mostly empty space. It has, um, so you're not looking at something solid. You're looking at something that's fluctuating and it's held together by your thinking, by your intelligence, um, which means that you can rearrange it with your thinking also. That basically our very participation creates a change in wherever, whatever we're participating in. It's the observer effect all, I mean, right there. That's exactly right. The scientists have shown that just by you entering a room, uh, your, your energy, your awareness, your mindset, your consciousness affects everything in the room. Let's see, it's like um, if you drop a stone into the water, it has rippling effects and it ripples throughout the pond. Well, when you enter someplace or you bring your attention, which this is about, your attention, it has a rippling effect on everything on the food you eat when you take it in your your mind your thoughts that you drop in are going to affect how that food affects you mm, that is so you know I, I can't hear it enough and the reason why patricia i can't hear it enough is because it relates to so much like, like everything in our life is really running off the same formula. And when you talk about, you know, what we, how we see food and what we see it as and how dense we make it, um, because immediately what comes with that dense uh, concept is either it's good or bad. You know, it, it, there's something, it's some way that it's going to affect us. So, so immediately we infuse it with that. That's what you're saying as well, right? That's exactly right. We, we have all these things. This food is good for us. This food is bad for us. And of course, then it switches up all the time in our life. So what we thought was good for us turns out that it really wasn't good for us. And so there's all these belief systems. And the poor little food that's sitting there is actually a very neutral energy. Uh, food can't think. And food is just energy like everything else. So it really actually is quite neutral. But we need to suspend. We need to learn how to suspend our beliefs uh, long enough so that we can detach these beliefs that uh, food will make us gain weight or this food or that food is good or bad. But we move out of that world into a world, um, Joe Dispenza talks about this, out of, to suspend ourselves outside of those old beliefs we're attached to. And we instead, just for a moment, try and do that and think, oh, actually, this food I'm taking in is fluctuating waves of energy with an intelligence. It's, it has intelligence. And 
my body knows how to merge and connect perfectly with this uh, intelligence and this fluctuating waves of energy. My job is to chew up the food. That's what I do. And I swallow it. And then my body takes over. And luckily, our body is set up to be a healing, eliminating, uh, intricate, intelligent um, creation. And Freedom From Food didn't make this up. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's just the design. That's just how it is. That's it. That's our birthright. So if we let go, and that's really what Freedom From Food is designed to do, to help you move, uh, create a bridge so that you can begin trusting the elimination system in your body and you can learn how to hold um, new belief systems long enough to change the way your body processes food. And that's a teaching. You uh, and a practice. You uh, you wouldn't uh, go. You wouldn't listen to something quickly and then, if you were in an airplane, then jump out of the airplane. You would definitely learn how to pack your bag, how to pack the chute, how to open it. You go over it extremely carefully and learn how to balance and focus your mind. So just like in the Olympics, if you're on a balance beam or if you're standing on one leg, you need to learn how to focus and refocus and reset your mind till you go, okay, I can do it. I can hold my attention. I can hold my way of thinking long enough to give my body a chance to go back to that beautiful way of taking in food and eliminating what it doesn't need, as a lot of people did when they were younger. Right, right. Because it was so natural. But I mean, when you're younger, um, there is something about when you're younger where you are a little bit, bit more invincible. There, you're not thinking as much about a demise or something like that. And I think over time we get so tainted by the world because of all of, you know, many of our harsh experiences that we begin to uh, live, live from that place, whether it be of caution or fear. But I like what you, I like the word that you use suspend. I love that word, Patricia, because you're saying if we could, if you could suspend that, you mean if you could, you know, suspend those those belief systems for a, j just hold it off for for you know for a little while. Um, but generally, we jump right in and we 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 bring in the, you know, the the whatever the focus is of whatever we think the food is going to do, or what it is, or or all of that. But that's exactly right because it when you suspend it then, you know, so you're not directing it with your mind, when you suspend it and realizing it is moving around, it's not that cookie, it, it, you know, that's in one place. It actually, if you saw it from a scientific viewpoint, you would see that it is, it appears solid, but it's actually moving around. So when we suspend and realize we don't see what's really happening with our eyes. We do not, it, that's why science said, if you really see what's happening, you would see, let's say these cookies or this candy bar, or even this carrot, this avocado, all of it, it doesn't matter what you're looking at, isn't solid. And so what that did to me was I went, oh, if it's not solid, it's kind of like, it, you know, when people, uh, blow bubbles, little kids blow bubbles, and you put your hand in the middle or you blow on it, they move in different directions. So we can do that um, with our thinking. We can, we can create what we want. We can move it around. If we can suspend, like you said, it is a, a great word, 
uh, if we can suspend our beliefs um, long enough to allow ourselves to open to new possibilities. We're so limited by these belief systems that we got. They're not all bad, but they're concretized. They're already formed. And so they don't leave any room for us to go to be curious, to try a new idea on, a new experiment. Uh, maybe something else could happen. And that's what people are doing in Freedom From Food. I just, uh, I don't have it now, but I think uh, I might uh, invite one of my students on in our workshop. Right, we're going to talk about that. Mm -hmm. 10 pounds, 10 pounds. She's losing uh, because she has suspended her old beliefs and she has gotten herself, like I did, to a place where she is a, a 10, you know, where like, okay, can you suspend the way you think about food long enough? Can you trust your body? Now, I do teach people, this is a teaching so that you have something, a net to catch you when you do jump out of the old paradigm. But, you know, are you ready to take that jump? And That's when, the question. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was talking to uh, a client the other day who said, well, I believe what you said, but I'm, I kind of see I'm gaining weight. And I said, well, you're not ready. You don't even have all the tools yet. You know, there's, there's steps and tools for you to learn for you to get strong enough so when you jump, because jumping into a new way of thinking about everything, um, just like you said, how do, I, how do I let go of someone who's carried dirty shoes into my room? Uh, it was something like that. Yeah, um, they're, they're, they're dirty feet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're dirty mm -hmm. feet. Well, you know, how do we let go of these things? Well, there's ways to learn it. And now there's so much scientific evidence and support for us learning how uh, with our breath, with our thinking, with uh, our mind, how to hold a stand when everything gets chaotic around you. I love the example of, you know, either the Olympics of when girl is on a balance beam or the Lakers for the men who are listening, more men are coming to me. The men are on to this now yeah, in the thank quantum good. world. Mm -hmm. and, and when the Lakers, when you're being paid millions of dollars and someone throws you the ball, your job is to catch it. They don't care if your wife is upset at home, if your child is sick, if your friend hurt your feelings, they're paying you millions of dollars. You're on the court. They're throwing you, you the ball. They, your job is to catch it. Now, that is the focal point that Freedom From Food is training people into. You need to be ready to handle the, your monkey mind, your, your beliefs that want to come tell you that you can't do it, whatever you're trying to do. You want to be trained. So when you decide to prove it to yourself, you're ready. So you don't want to try it without really having. You need the uh, tools. You have to be equipped. Thank you. Be otherwise, that's you, you because that's your launching pad. That's your, the platform that you're going to. Um, you, you need that stable platform because it, let's face it, the moments when a doubt sets in, if you don't have a stable foundation, you're going to waver, you're going to fall, you know? So I think that's what, that's what you're talking about. But when you have this stable um, platform and it's not just intellectualizing it anymore, but you get it, then you can stand solid, you know, regardless of, of what may seem to appear in that moment, you know, you get this. This is, this is the, what, <laughs> this is this whole freedom from food. It really is a mastering process. <laughs> it is. And so uh, I love dealing with people because, you know, 
and we're all so sweet in wanting to change things. And, and so am I, you know, I just mastered this one, but there's many things to master in life. So I have to apply the same principles to other aspects of my life. And, uh, but I know when someone's ready because I know when they, if I say, you know, where was your wound? What was your wound? What are you, what have you done to, uh, to help that wounded part? You know, have you brought compassion? Have you brought love? Have you talked to her? Okay. So that's the wound. Now I go into your body. Have you, how much do you trust the incredible body that you were created with to do its job without you interfering? Like, do you really think that you should tell your body what to do? Because our body is created as such an orchestration, such a masterpiece. It is so intricately and intelligently put together it knows how to eliminate toxins. That's its job. Like it wasn't our job to tell it what to do. When I get a cut, my body knows what to do. It knows it's how to- self-contained. That's exactly right. So it's not my job to tell it what to do. It's my job to allow it to do its job in a certain mm, way. And that's the challenge that we have <laughs> is allowing it to do you know, but Patricia, there's so much outside, um, I guess, as you said, influence, um, not just in what we've been taught and what we believe about ourselves, but we are bombarded all the time. So before we, we dive in further, I want to tell the audience right now, you've heard right now just a little bit of this process. And Patricia has been wonderful enough to uh, allow us to have this is the package she put together for us. It's a workshop. It's a 90 minute workshop and it's learn the principles of freedom from food. It's a 90 minute workshop, as I said, with Patricia and I'll be hosting that. And that will be, we, we think maybe May, Tuesday, May 25th um, at five, but we'll let you know more and you'll receive a copy of it. Now it's a digital, it's a digital copy download um, that you'll be able to have so you can listen to it again. And we're also, Patricia has also included her CD set, which she's going to talk about a little bit, a quantum weight loss approach. It's a subliminal CD uh, with music in three parts, which we'll, she'll, uh, we'll explore that also before we're done. Um, and so you've got that, and that's a hard copy that you'll be receiving. And her affirmation cards. 25 beautifully designed cards to assist you in the freedom from food program. And you can use this daily or anytime you need support to reinforce your commitment. So there's a whole, she's uh, uh, put together a whole system here to support people. And so you would be receiving that when you assist KPFK with a pledge of $150. This package is actually well worth more than that. Patricia's workshops and, and her time and um, these systems, uh, it's, it's worth more than the pledge. And so it's a pledge of $150. And you can get that by calling 818-985-5735 and ask for the Freedom From Food Pack. And you can put it on a credit card. Um, you can split up the payments on a credit card if you so choose to do that. But what I am telling you is you want to be part of this. You want to be there for this workshop where you, she'll answer questions and so on. And you want to get this, this, this information, this extremely, uh, I can't, I can't, emphasize it anymore, significant information that influences you in all areas of your life. This is science. This is an amazing science. She happened to, you know, have a black belt, a triple black belt now in, in, in mastering this. And so you're not having somebody, <clears throat> excuse me, that's speculating or it's just an idea. It's someone that's actually done this. 818-985-5735. It's a freedom from food pack for a pledge 
of $150. It's the workshop, um, it, the live workshop that you participate in, the um, a, a copy, you'll receive a copy of it. You, you'll get the CD, the subliminal CD for weight loss, um, the quantum weight loss, and the affirmation cards, 25 beautifully designed cards, 818-985-5735. And I'm going to, we're going to take a break right now. And uh, when we return, we're going to pick up with Patricia on talking about uh, some of this. I want to talk about the subliminal cards, uh, the subliminal um, uh, CDs uh, as well. So stay tuned and we'll be right back after this brief break. And we are back. You're, of course, tuned in to KPFK 90.7 FM in Southern California, and we are streaming live at kpfk.org. You are listening to The Expansion Zone with Sonia Barrett. That's me, your host, and we are chatting with my guest, Patricia Bish, author of Freedom from Food. Um, and uh, what's my, oh, I think I took this from some of her information a while back. At the quantum level, it's all the same, and that is the physics that becomes biology. Uh, I, I love this. So, Patricia, um, lots we can talk about, but in terms of just talking about uh, some of what's being offered in this pack, the subliminal um, CD, could you tell us what that's about in supporting a person as they take this journey? Yes, well, uh, the exciting news, it's not just the subliminal, you will also get, it's a two set, a two CD set. So uh, the subliminal is music that you could put on, it's very um, soothing music. Beneath the music, which you wouldn't hear, are all of the words that are in the other CD, which Ha, is with spoken words. So you'll receive this too. And on the spoken um, CD, it has, it talks about the principles of freedom from food. Um, it talks about, uh, it gives you affirmations. It's a three part uh, CD. And then it also takes you through inner child work. Uh, so it's, such it's pretty extensive. Assistant. Yeah, that alone, getting the two CDs is uh, great. Uh, I think would be of great benefit uh, with the book. Yeah. I have people in my workshops always get the CD also. Um, and uh, it's quite a bonus because a lot of us learn while we are uh, listening. So yes, that's true. Yes. So this is, I mean, to me, this is so great. And I think particularly right now uh, with everything going on and people, you know, people have been, uh, been home, uh, people who are concerned because they've gained weight. And let's face it, some of this weight gain, it's not just the idea of weight gain, but they've also packed on fear. Do we talk about that? How, because that, you know, we, we never look at it that way that we've packed on fear. But we, we've, we've packed on fear as well, wouldn't you say, Patricia? Absolutely. Well, one of the things that happens when your childhood or whenever you started eating happened uh, is fear. Fear is fight, flight, or freeze when the outside world is getting uh, too, um, it, it's getting too anxious. It's like a lot of people that come to me uh, have lived with someone who was raging or whose love was inconsistent. They did, never knew when the next bomb, in a sense, emotional bomb was going to drop or a landmine they were going to step in. So fear was a way. Matter of fact, someone told me yesterday how they used to, didn't want to cause their parents any more problems because as a child, they were afraid they would break up. So they used to uh, take their anxiety and go into the closet and eat because eating was that loving support. Comforting. That, and the comforting that they were not getting from their parents who were fighting out there. So uh, fear we need to realize that 
we didn't start eating for some little reason. We started eating, we go into that kind of unconscious uh, behavior uh, because it's too much on our nervous system what's going on in the outside world and we don't have a buffer strong enough to protect us from feeling it. So it's a survival um, reaction. Absolutely, it is. So in order to let go of that survival reaction, we need to build a connection uh, because that's a disconnection. We need to build a connection to a loving adult, a wiser part of ourselves, a compassionate voice like, oh, boy, I, I, I really hear how hard that was for you. I really, I hear it from my heart. Hear the part of you that had to go into that closet. I, I, and we talk to that part of ourself. So that's what the inner child part of the tape is. And, you know, so there's part that is the inner child there's part that is affirmations, like, can I stay up? Can I stand up and say, um, everything I eat makes me thinner and lighter now? Uh, this other woman who took my workshop, who's losing 10 pounds, you know, um, in two weeks, is uh, she said, I have, I made my husband uh, listen to me, and I kept repeating that. Now she had studied for a year, you know, the principles, but she stood up in front of her husband and said, you know, that she was going to lose 10 pounds. And she, he said, convince me. And so mm -hmm. she kept doing it until she could find the place inside of her, the strength, the conviction, the alignment, the, you know, the, the vertical alignment of strength to be behind her own words. Now people are really taking the affirmations on that CD and they're calling me and saying, you know, I used to be at, you know, 60%, 40% when I would say these affirmation, but they're practicing and that's where we all need to practice. And they're go they're telling me I'm, you know, I'm at, a 10. I totally am behind what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So that's the journey for all of us. How do we get behind what we're saying? And how and repetition we is uh, obviously it's key. It's a practice. As you say, you, it, this becomes, you know, a practice, not just something you do once in a while. It, 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 otherwise, the mind uh, just reverts back to the old program. I'm so happy you said that because I, that is exactly what happens. Given the opportunity, the monkey mind, the one that will tell you you're not good enough, you can't do what you think you will, you are defective, the part that will shame you, it's used to shaming you, will take the microphone. So you have to train, be trained to go, excuse me, no. That's my microphone. You go over to the side and I'm not listening to you. I don't really care what you're saying. I'm tuning you out like a friend who I'm not even listening to. You know, people you tune out. <laughs> yeah. Well, we have to learn to tune out the voices. We have to learn many tools so that we stay aligned in the thought that we want to manifest and we stay there long enough so that we create a bridge so that the new belief system can take a hold in our body or in our life. And, and you can do it. And powerful things can happen because that's the idea. Once again, the idea of freedom from food. So, so this interrupts this entire um, dom not domino effect is not the word I want to use, but this constant um, loop that most people get caught in with the swing of diets. And 
you lose weight, but then supposedly it comes back. You lose weight and then you have to keep doing it over and over again. And, and this process, this practice, this understanding that Patricia is sharing, it's bringing us back into the truth, like the normality, the, the, the normality that really is there underneath everything. And your body knows how to just boomerang right back, go right back to its core design. And which is that's what, what homeostasis is. Ba well, yeah, absolutely. Our body was created to uh, hold the sugar levels at a certain point. Our temperature remains when we're, it keeps bringing us back to 98, is it 98.6? And yeah. uh, so our, the heat in our body, the temperature in our body, everything, we, it was set up for whoever you feel the creator is. I love it. I tell people, get in touch with the wisdom voice because you want the support. People call it the I am, people call it the higher self, people call it God, people call it- um, Whatever they call it, it's a wisdom. Universal principles, <laughs> whatever they call it, the wise part, um, whatever it is, we need to learn how to bring our attention back. Today, for example, my day started off, I thought, I'm going to be doing this radio show. Well, all I can tell you is there was buzz saws behind me. There were buzz saws, you know, in front of me. They were fixing doors, people. It was chaos. And so I thought, okay, you know, I am going to be doing this radio show with my best self. And how do I make it through this chaos on the outside world? Because the world will present you chaos at times. So how to keep myself, my alignment, you know, before I go on in the face of um, things in my outside world, not going as planned. And so I brought in, I have many tools, uh, which uh, if you don't, I will be adding to them on how to bring in those scattered energies, how to say, okay, now we are going to be um, answering these questions from our highest, most knowing self. Um, and, you know, we didn't plan what we were going to say. No, we just flow. We and trust. This is what I love about Sonia, because Sonia can travel <laughs> anywhere, as you listeners know. Sonia is a expansion traveler. <laughs> So I love, it's like getting on a fun <laughs> ride with her. And so when I talk about these things, she just gets on, she knows where I'm going and she just uh, enhances and expands it. That's why there's the expansion. Uh, <laughs> I love it though. But yesterday we asked, I mean, you did mention about it and I, and I knew it. I said, Oh, it will be fine. I mean, cause, cause that's what you're doing. That's exactly what it is. We already, you knew the energy that you wanted to operate in to do the show. Okay. And, and that, that was, that was it. There was no, if, and maybe about it. And it's the same principle with what you're talking about. It's like, you get it. And, and, and that's, that's your platform. That's it. That was it. That's it. So I bring myself back. It's like I'm on, I'm in the show. It's kind of like being in the Laker game, like I was talking about, or on the, I'm on the Olympic uh, balancing bar with Sonia. I'm not looking right or left. I don't care what's going on right or left. I'm here. My attention is here. My focus is here. My energy is aligned. And that's because I've learned how to do it. Yes, and I've seen that when you can collect those scattered energies, change those old belief systems and hold them in a new pattern uh, long enough, you can rearrange them and you can influence your body and your weight. Mm, I love it. I love it because we're the ones giving, we're giving out the instructions all day long. That's that, that, that's the thing I just love is that we're ordering up stuff all the time from the menu. <laughs> then we don't want it. <laughs> that's right. And Sonia goes, I told her what was going around my house. And she said, I'm not going to stress about it. I'm not going to stress about it. It's going to be perfect. Now that was the high thought. She just knew, okay, 
I'm aligned and everything's going to align with me. And yeah. sure enough, they, the people, all the noise that was going on uh, stopped from 12 to one for lunchtime. There's, and mm-hmm. yeah, because I said that to you, I go, they'll stop for lunch. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and even if they weren't going to, in our reality, we decided that they were going to stop for lunch. <laughs> That's right. That's right. I love it. You know, you, there is no, there is no doubting that there is this incredible science by which our lives um, are operating, by which creation operates. And with that said, I'm reminding everybody you've heard, and I am telling you, this is amazing towards every aspect of your life. You will want to get this pack. And not only do you get, you're getting it for yourself, but it is supporting the station. It's really, as you know, it's a gift. You pledge to the station and instead of just having you uh, make a pledge, just ask for a donation rather, we tried, we put together, I won't use the word try because we put together um, packages, things that we can say, thank you. And we get these wonderful guests that say, yes, I will, I will put this together for you. I will um, provide this for you, for your, for your audience. And this is what we did. So it's the freedom from food pack for a pledge of $150. You can put it on a credit card. As I said, you will want to, I ask you to please, if you can do it, while we're still on air, that would be great. It does make a difference. You call and pledge during the show. 818-985-5735 is the number. 818-985-5735. And again, I'm going to remind you, it's the workshop. It's a 90-minute workshop that you'll be able to participate in live with Patricia. You're going to be able to ask questions when she's done. She's going to really uh, help you to um, begin this 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 journey, how to take, take this on. And some of you are already on the journey. Uh, so either way, it's going it's going to provide you with tools for where exactly where you are right now in 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 this process or in your mind. Um, and you receive a copy of it so you can listen to it again and again, as you also you're going to receive the CD set that um, that she talked about. Um, a quantum weight loss approach, and it's three parts, as, as Patricia uh, has just explained. And you get the affirmation cards, beautiful affirmation cards, which I I do have them as well. Um, And they are beautiful cards. And man, I tell you, you just pull a card. And as you know how that works, it's like, boom, it's exactly what you need in that moment. And the cards are, they're designed for taking you through this process. Yeah, it's going to relate to other things, but it's it's taking you through this process, supporting you uh, because you're committed to making this incredible change that will ripple out into so many areas of your life. So 818-985-5735, it's a freedom from food pack for a pledge of $150. 818-985-5735. Okay, so do we talk about the affirmation cards? Um, I think you touched on them a little bit, but I don't well, know if there's, you go ahead. Yeah. You know something, uh, you do so many things. You kind of, uh, with me, with the affirmation cards, I hadn't been paying attention to them <laughs> that much, you know, because you put something out and uh, I don't know, I just wasn't. But because I have people from all over the world talking to me, they they have been talking in my support group or, you know, individually in consultations, they have been telling me how these affirmation cards are changing them. I'm and telling you, they do. They are getting behind it. Like I said, they are finding uh, the way to say something and uh, repeat it over again till they've owned it, until they know it. It's like, um, it's like, riding a bike, you know, you have the training wheels and then at a certain point, you know, they take them off, you know how to balance, you don't have to think about it anymore. So that's what happens with uh, freedom from food. And it also, it, it happens with these affirmation cards as you learn to embody them and, and say, okay, wait, I didn't open up completely to that idea. I'm going to expand myself even more. I, I, I put in a limitation there. See, we separate. There's a difference between separating ourselves out from something and opening to it. So we have the power uh, 
to choose to open ourselves more and more. Yes, we give ourselves permission. And I find that word to be such a huge word um, because often I don't think we realize just how much we don't, we're not giving ourselves permission to, uh, to change or to, to do certain things. Um, we are the ones just, as we said before, giving, giving instructions, um, d- determining, you know, the choices that we're making. Sure, we're making choices based on some limited information as well. Either way, you're making choices. And to be informed, to have knowledge, and in this case, to have this kind of knowledge and this kind of practice and this kind of understanding uh, underneath your feet is going to make a huge difference in in the per, in ge- allowing yourself then um, the permission to transform and to release um, some of these old uh, belief systems. And you know, Patricia, we, we're talking about this again. This this concept. Um, this this truth as to how the body works. When a person, I imagine, starts to go on this journey, this can change relationships. I mean, it, it's got to ripple out into other things, right? It does. It, it really does. People call me and they want to take on all kinds of things. It automatically will because uh, when you learn to align uh, yourself and learn to be compassionate yourself, then everything that's kind of out of order is affected. You know, everything because we are connected. So oftentimes in relationship workshops, even uh, people will say, if one person changes, the other person is going to be affected. It is going to change them. So Yes, everything we do affects everything else. That's part of the connection. We have this false belief that we're, we are isolated and alone and disconnected um, from our environment. But with the actual glasses of the energy connection, they know it's impossible for us to be disconnected. We are connected. Uh, uh, it's, 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 it's so true. And, you know, we just have to get off the intellectual, the intellectual level of, of, you know, saying that, yes, we know that. But then when you do a practice like this, you really begin to see, wait a second, this is really what's happening. You know, it becomes more than intellectual knowing. It sure does. Cause you have to ask yourself, okay, where am I holding on? Where, uh, where do I go? Um, I don't believe this, you know, so many people and uh, will, well, that's what I do. A lot of my time is spent helping people look at their old belief system and find a way through to a belief system, a new belief system that they can expand into. And uh, a lot of my time is spent by that because old belief systems are so, um, I don't know what, I, I keep coming back to the word concrete. They're like frozen in time. And so are our belief systems about ourselves. So we need to melt them away and uh, you could just picture them melting away. Yes. I like that. Yeah, I like that that uh, idea, melting them away. And, we didn't and say destroy, we said melting. Yes. And underneath that, if you picture it, I love that movie for kids now, it's frozen. Mm-hmm. And so, uh, and when you melt it away, I'm picturing it now, maybe you can too. What is underneath? is a beautiful divine energy that had to block itself off because of fearful surroundings or abuse that happened. But when all that gets melted away, then we are this wonderful expanse of divine, radiant, loving, and beautiful energy that is one with everything connected and open to all possibilities, it moves, it's open to new experiences that come its way. We're very expansive. Yes, that's, yeah, yeah, again, the expansion zone. 
Well, <laughs> we, <laughs> we, we have come to the end of our show. So I'm going to say it one more time to uh, call in, make your pledge of $150 to the Freedom From Food Pack, 818-985-5735, 818-985-5735. Freedom From Food Pack is what you're asking for. That's what you want. And you can put it on your credit card or split up the payments. But I'm telling you, particularly now in our lives, it's a good time to be able to have this pack. And you can even give it to a teenager or somebody that you know could really appreciate this. Um, I, I, I really think it makes a wonderful gift uh, as well for anybody and for yourself as well. So you get it's the workshop, live workshop that you're going to be participating in um, with Patricia Bish, and I'll be hosting it. And also um, the you receive a copy of the workshop. You will get the CD, the th three-part CD, then the affirmation cards, 25 beautiful affirmation cards, 818-985-5735. And we've definitely come to the end of the show. So I want to thank you once again, Patricia Bish, for coming on and being so awesome as always. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Sonia. It's just been a delight. Oh, thank you so much. And to our engineer, thank you. Uh, and to our listening audience, you, thank you. Do visit the expansionzone.com. Um, do go to our Instagram and uh, what follow me on Instagram as well. Uh, and all the other forms of social media in YouTube as well. This is posted there and also posted on the website and in the archive. Ah, as always, I like to remind you to live life to its fullest and question everything. Until next time, see you then, but do call 818-985-5735, Freedom From Food. That's the pack. Take care. Everybody's talking about consciousness. Everybody wants that